today I'm going to show you how to get a subdomain to your Minecraft server. All you need is a free domain host or a bought one. And I'm going to use a .uk and from one.com, which I need to get in now. And I'm going, going to show it to you exactly how to set it up so it works properly. First I'm going to use good I mean, proper one as it's a bit harder and then this one as it's a bit less complicated. If you have a host and you want to go to DNS. If it's always advanced and simple you want to pick the advanced one. Then update the things. As you can see I already have it because it takes about 90 minutes before effects happen. So you just do whatever you want, MC1 for example. And you need A. Then the server IP, which is without the thing. So it's oops, this thing. Then just press a DNS. You're done, you just need to wait 90 minutes and then connect to it. But with a free domain, then you need to register a subdomain. Let's go. And press use DNS. If you want to press this. And in here you want to type in the server IP, which is a thing like this. Okay, I'm back. Here you can pick any time. I'm going to pay 10 months just to be sure that it doesn't expire too early or too late. Actually, I might just make sense. I'm not sure if you need to type in the IP address here because you can't do to port on this, so I'm not sure. Actually, I think that one will be direct to someone. This will connect. So press sign up. And you need to register. So I'm going to pick my Google email thing. Okay, I've got the application thing. It's very easy to fill in. Just pick your email and press allow. Now press login to my .dk and fill this in. However, you have registered. Let us realize I didn't set up password. So, oh, say name. Okay. Look easy. So now I should be logged in and be able to edit all of the things. In here you can go to domains and check that this one is this is set up right. So we can do quite a lot with it. So we can even use one to do everything for you
You can even change, make it so you can, it redirects you to your website or have a custom one, which is a bit hard to set up, but it's still possible. And you can also add two, two more records that they aren't used for Minecraft. So now I'm going to check it, check if it works or if I have to wait. So let's check if I can connect using this thing. And the thing we have to wait. As you can see here, the decaying one needs to wait because I just made it. Whereas my um one is already made people said to do a couple of days ago. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.